हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू लेसन दैट इज अ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ओके सो ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वर्ड कम्स फ्रॉम थ्री ग्रीक लेटर्स दैट इज अ दिस ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वर्ड कम्स फ्रॉम थ्री ग्रीक लेटर दैट इज ट्राई ट्राय मीन्स थ्री देन गोनिया गोनिया मीन्स एंगल्स एंड लास्ट वन इज मेट्रॉन ओके सो दिस इज ट्राय गोनिया मेट्रॉन मेट्रॉन मीन्स मेजरमेंट ओके सो डेफिनेशन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री दैट इज अ ब्रॉडर डेफिनेशन इज इट इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इन दैट uh we deals with triangles okay three angles means triangles so measurement of triangles that is a measurement of sides and angles okay so if uh sides are given or angles are given we have to find another sides okay so this is trigonometry word comes from three greek letter that is a tri gonia and metron that is a tri means 3 gonia means angle and measurement means metron okay metron means measurement okay so so here trigonometry means branch of mathematics in which deals with measurement of triangles or measurement of sides and measurement of angles okay now we will start first point that is a formation of angle formation of angles okay so if suppose that this is a oa is the initial this is called initial side oa is the initial side and another ray ob coincide with this oa if we rotate this ob okay then suppose this we will get this is ray ob okay this ob ray coincide with oa if we rotate this then we will get terminal side ob okay so this is a terminal side ob is a terminal side if we rotate like this way then ob we will get terminal side oa is the initial side o is called vertex of an angle okay so we will get angle aob okay so angle aob okay so how we will get angle aob if we rotate this terminal side okay so we will get angle aob okay now if we rotate this ob anti clockwise direction then we will get positive angle okay so next point is positive angle so if we rotate this ob in anti clockwise direction then we will get positive angle so if we rotate in anti clockwise direction we will get positive angle and same if we rotate in clockwise direction then we will get negative angle okay so if this is a oa initial side and ob coincide with oa if we rotate in clockwise direction okay so if we rotate in this way then this is a negative angle okay if we rotate clockwise direction in clockwise direction okay so if we rotate in anti clockwise direction then angle is positive if we rotate in clockwise direction then angle is negative okay after that 
there are main two measures uh, there are two methods to measure angles okay first one is everyone know this method that is a degree measure or we can say that there are two measures first one is degree measure okay everyone know this degree measure okay if suppose right angle is there okay so we know that this right angle means it is a 90 degree means this right angle if we divide in 90 equal parts then each part is called as a one degree okay so if right angle divide right angle divide in 90 equal parts then each part is called as degree okay each part is called as a degree okay and if we divide each degree in 60 parts okay so each part called as a minutes okay means suppose this these are 90 parts okay so this one part is called as a degree one degree okay if one degree is divided into 60 parts then one part is called as a minute okay means we can write like this way 90 degree is equal to or we can write like this way right angle is equal to 90 degree okay then 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes okay minutes we can represent like this way that is a 60 minutes and again if we divide that one minute into 60 parts and we call it as a second so one minute is equal to 60 seconds okay so first is right angle means 90 degree means if we divide this right angle in 90 equal parts each part is called as a degree okay if this degree is divided into 60 parts then that is a 60 minute and if again we divide it then we will get that is a 60 seconds okay and after that another measure is radian measure okay so this degree measure another name is sexagesimal system okay and another one is radian measure mostly we are using this two okay there is another one but mostly we are using this degree measure and radian measure okay radian measure another name is circular system okay now listen this properly okay if this angle suppose this is angle and if we denote this angle by theta okay theta is the symbol to represent this angle okay so now in this letter uh, in this lesson we use this letter or this symbol most of the time okay that is a theta okay so if theta is the angle angle aob is equal to theta so in radian measure that is a theta is equal to this is length ab so how we will count this theta that is a length of an arc ab length of an arc ab divided by radius okay so that is a theta is equal to length of an arc that is l divided by r okay so this is a formula to find the angle 
थीटा इन रेडियन मेजर ओके सो थीटा इज इक्वल टू एल बाय आर ओके सो इफ थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन रेडियन ओके सो वेन इट इज पॉसिबल थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन रेडियन इफ लेंथ ऑफ एन आर्क दैट इज इक्वल टू रेडियस ओके सो इफ थीटा और वी कैन राइट वैल्यू ऑफ वन रेडियन सो वन रेडियन इज इक्वल टू लेंथ ऑफ एन आर्क इक्वल टू रेडियस डिवाइडेड बाय रेडियस ओके मीन्स इफ दिस लेंथ ऑफ एन आर्क ए बी इज अ लेंथ ऑफ एन आर्क सो इफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू आर एंड दिस ऑल्सो आर देन वी विल गेट दिस एंगल इज अ वन रेडियन ओके एंड दिस रेडियन इज रेडियन एंगल इज डिनोटेड एज हियर डिग्री मेजर इज डिनोटेड एज दिस ओके सो रेडियन मेजर इज डिनोटेड बाय C, okay. So radian measure is denoted by C. Here degree measure we know that we uh, we draw one circle here, small circle. That is a degree measure, okay. And for radian measure we can denote by it C, okay. So if any measure is not there, we suppose that that angle is a in radian measure, okay. mostly in 10th standard we are using degree measure okay and we are dealing with only acute angles okay so now we will take next point that is a relation between degree measure and radian measure okay relation between degree measure and radian measure okay now see here if this is a circle okay this is a center o and if we draw this diameter okay so we know that this angle is a 180 degree in degree okay so angle aob that is a 180 degree okay so if we count this degree measure in radian okay so how we will convert this so here this theta this is a theta okay so theta what is the definition of theta in radian that is the length of an arc divided by radius so here angle aob is equal to length of an arc now this is a diameter means this is a circumference half circumference okay half of the circumference so we know that that is a circumference of circle is 2 pi r divided by 2 okay because this is diameter so we will get half of the circumference that is a length of an arc so we will get this is pi r so angle aob that is actually 2 pi r divided by 2 divided by r okay radius so here pi r divided by radius that is r so we will get angle aob is equal to pi okay so if we take this is first one and this is second one from 1 and 2 we will get pi radian is equal to 180 degree okay so this is the relation between radian and degree okay pi radian is equal to 180 degree okay so 1 radian is equal to okay 1 radian means pi into 1 radian so 1 radian is equal to 180 degree divided by pi okay so if we convert radian into degree multiply by 180 by pi or conversely we can write 1 degree is equal to 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian so radian we denote as c okay 
so suppose 30 degree angle is there 30 degree angle if we have to convert in radian so degree if we have to convert in radian multiply by pi into 180 so 30 into 30 degree into pi upon 180 degree that is a pi by 6 so this is in radian okay suppose if you have to convert pi by 4 into degree so multiply by 180 by pi so pi by 4 into 180 by pi so this will cancel 180 by 4 that is a 45 degree so pi by 4 means 45 degree okay so this is the relation between degree measure and radian measure okay this is the basic for trigonometry okay and this is not in 10th standard syllabus but you should know this okay another one point is there till 9th standard we learn or 10th standard we learn on the acute angles okay so if we know that if we draw two uh, axis that is a x o x dash and y o y dash okay so this axis divide a plane in four parts okay and each part called as a quadrant okay so this is a first quadrant this is a second quadrant this is third quadrant and this is a fourth quadrant okay so if suppose that this o is the vertex of an angle o is the initial side if we rotate this okay another ray coincide with oa that is ob and if we rotate this so if suppose here this point is ob so this angle is in first quadrant okay if we rotate this again suppose this ray ob is uh, now here okay then this angle is in second quadrant okay similarly if we rotate again then this angle is in third quadrant okay sorry we rotate like this way anti-clockwise direction or clockwise okay then if we rotate again and if it is here then angle it is in fourth quadrant okay likewise we can rotate okay so if we rotate like this way suppose oa is here and if, or and coincide ob is coincident ray with oa and if we rotate this anti clockwise suppose if we rotate like this way so if one rotation completed then that angle is a 360 degree okay another again we can rotate here suppose if we have to draw 390 degree angle okay so this 390 degree angle where it lies so this 390 degree angle how we locate it okay if one rotation is there that is a 360 degree so here 360 degree complete again we have to rotate that is a 30 degree so angle is here okay so this is a so this is the angle okay 390 degree okay or if we have to draw 400 degree so one rotation is 360 degree okay and then 40 degree so total we will get 400 so this is a angle having measure 400 degree okay in 10 standard we have only acute angles that is which lies in first quadrant okay but this keep in mind it is the basic trigonometry for 11th standard okay now we will start our main topic that is a trigonometric ratios okay so if we consider 
this is vertex o okay and initial ray oa if we rotate this in anti clockwise direction and we will get acute angle theta this is a ob that is a terminal side so this is initial side and this is terminal side okay so if we take any point p on this terminal side and if we draw perpendicular from point p to a suppose pm is a perpendicular so pm perpendicular to oa okay so now we will get triangle pmo is a right angle triangle or right triangle right angle at m okay so here triangle pmo is a right triangle right angle at m okay now we have to define trigonometric ratios okay to find angles or sides okay so that is the main purpose of trigonometry if some of the sides are given we have to find another sides okay by using trigonometric ratios so we have to define now trigonometric ratios okay now here i am writing this trigonometric ratios okay now here first is sin theta okay or here means this trigonometric ratios we can write like this way sin that is a sin of angle a or oh, sorry sin of angle o here so o angle is a theta okay so sin of angle pom okay so this sin of angle pom we can write in short sin we can write only sin and pom we can denote as a here we have to denote as a theta so that is a sin theta is equal to now first trigonometric ratio that is a sin theta okay now keep concentrate here sin theta means here angle is a theta so sin theta means opposite side of this angle theta if i am taking here theta then opposite side of this theta is pm and upon hypotenuse okay so definition of this first trigonometric ratios sin theta that is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse okay in some books it is given opposite side means here perpendicular it is uh, perpendicular so in some books it is given sin theta that is a perpendicular divided by hypotenuse or another one means cos ratio cos theta is there suppose this is base so cos theta that is a another one so in some books this side they are consider as perpendicular and this side as a base okay so sin theta that is a first trigonometric ratio that is sin theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse okay so here theta is this angle so opposite side of this angle is pm divided by hypotenuse is op so opposite side pm divided by op okay then this is first one sin theta okay another one is cosine cosine of angle pom so cosine we have to write in short that is a cos okay and cos of angle pom that is a cos theta so cos theta that is second trigonometric ratio cos theta we can write it as om so here this is a theta okay if we draw only triangle so you can understand this
okay this is theta this is p a p m o okay so cos theta means okay cos theta that is the second ratio cos theta means adjacent side of this angle divided by hypotenuse okay in sin theta opposite side that is a, if angle is this theta is angle so opposite side of this angle is pm and adjacent side of this angle is om okay so cos theta that is a adjacent side divided by hypotenuse okay so here adjacent side is okay adjacent side to angle theta is om so om divided by hypotenuse is op so om divided by op so this is a cosine of angle pom cosine means in short we can write cos theta okay then next ratio is tangent of angle pom okay so tangent of angle pom this how we denote now i am rubbing this one tangent of angle pom so this tangent of pom we can write as a tan in short okay tan theta okay so tan theta is equal to now tan theta is equal to so definition of tan theta is opposite side upon adjacent side okay so tan theta is equal to opposite side upon adjacent side okay if we consider this is a theta then opposite side of this theta is a this so this is opposite side and this is a adjacent side okay if we consider this angle as a theta then this is opposite side and this is a adjacent side okay so tan theta is equal to opposite side upon adjacent side so opposite side is a pm upon adjacent side is a om so pm divided by om okay so this is a tangent of angle pom so sin theta that is opposite side upon hypotenuse cos theta adjacent side of hy upon hypotenuse and tan theta that is a opposite side upon adjacent side okay now next one is cotangent of angle pom so cotangent means that is a cot theta in short we can write cot theta okay so cot theta means reciprocal of tan theta okay here tan theta is opposite side upon adjacent side in cot theta adjacent side upon opposite side okay so in this one adjacent side is a om upon pm okay and after that cotangent of angle pom after that we will have co secant co secant of angle pom cosecant of angle pom that is a in short cosec of angle pom angle pom we denote it as a theta so cosec theta that is equal to now this is a reciprocal of sin theta okay sin theta is opposite side upon hypotenuse cosec theta is a hypotenuse hypotenuse upon opposite side 
so this is cosec theta so hypotenuse is op divided by opposite side is pm this is a cosecant of angle pom and after that secant of angle pom so that secant of angle pom we denote as a sec theta so sec theta that is a reciprocal of cos theta so sec theta here cos theta is adjacent side upon hypotenuse sec theta is a hypotenuse upon adjacent side so hypotenuse is a op adjacent side is a om so sec theta is a hypotenuse upon adjacent that is op by om okay so these are six trigonometric ratios okay sin theta cos theta tan theta cot theta cosec theta and sec theta okay so here sin theta and cosec theta is a reciprocal of each other cos theta and sec theta is a reciprocal of each other and tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal of each other okay so i will take this afterward but here these are reciprocal of each other okay so we will take next point that is a uh, relation between this trigonometric ratios okay and here one more important thing is that sin theta means here sin multiplied by theta is not there okay sin into theta that is not meaning of this sin theta means sin theta that is not like this way sin into theta okay so don't write like this way this is a wrong thing to write this okay sin theta means this is a sin is a function and if we apply this function on theta okay so sin theta so this is don't write like this way sin into theta okay so it is not in multiplication sin and theta or cos and theta anyone that is tan into theta that is not in multiplication okay this is a function so sin theta cos theta okay and another one is sin square theta okay that is means if we write, write square so sin square theta means that is a sin theta square okay so it is not like this sin square and into theta it is not like this way sin square theta means sin theta and square of it okay but when we are writing this we are write like this way sin square theta okay so keep this remarks in mind okay and now we will start next point that is a relation between trigonometric ratios okay okay now i am keeping this one as it is okay and i am drawing this diagram again that is a okay first i am writing this relation between trigonometric ratios relation between trigonometric ratios okay diagram of this that is a this is angle m this is p and this is a o this angle is a theta this is a perpendicular okay now we know that now just now we discussed that this sin cosec reciprocal of each other cos and sec reciprocal of each other and tan and cot okay so only we have to write this sin theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta okay or cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta okay this is the first relation so sin and cosec these are these two trigonometric ratios are reciprocal of each other okay 
second one cos theta and sec theta so cos theta is equal to 1 upon sec theta and sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta okay and third one that is a tan theta is equal to 1 upon cot theta or cot theta is equal to 1 upon tan theta okay so these are trigonometric relation between these six trigonometric ratios okay and another two are there if we divide this sin theta and cos theta we will get tan theta okay see here sin theta means pm by op cos theta means om by op so if we divide this two this op will get cancelled we will get pm by om so pm by om means tan theta okay so next relation is tan theta is equal to sin theta divided by cos theta okay you can check by using this sin theta pm by op cos theta om by op so if we divide this okay here i am doing this one suppose here okay sin theta that is a pm by op cos theta so if we divide by cos theta cos theta is equal to om by op so if we divide this this op will get cancelled we will get pm by om so pm by om means tan theta so sin theta by cos theta we will get tan theta similarly cot theta how we will get if we divide cos theta by sin theta so pm by om upon sorry uh, op by om upon op by pm okay so see here if we divide cos theta by sin theta cos theta that is a om by op and sin theta is a pm by op so op will get cancelled we will get om by pm now om by pm means cot theta so cos theta by sin theta that is a cot theta okay so this is the relation between trigonometric ratios okay after that i will give trick how to write this or how to memorize this relation between trigonometric ratios this is a trick to keep in mind this trigonometric relation relation between this trigonometric ratios okay so here we have to draw hexagon okay then here we have to write sin theta cos theta tan theta cot theta and sec theta and cosec theta okay so this is called super hexagon okay this is not in syllabus okay this is a trick to remember this trigonometric relations okay so see here if we have to write tan theta if we if we go clockwise direction if we have to write tan theta then this tan theta we can write sin theta by cos theta okay then okay so we will get this relation tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta okay if we have to write sin theta then this sin theta we can write cos theta divided by cot theta okay so sin theta is equal to cos theta by cot theta similarly if we have to write cos theta then we can write cot theta by cosec theta okay so cos theta we can write cot theta by cosec theta okay so we can go like this way in clockwise direction okay similarly in anti clockwise direction suppose i have to write cot theta so cot theta i can write cos theta by sin theta okay this point means cot theta we can write cos by next two that is cos by sin so cot theta cos theta by sin theta 
cos theta if i have to write cos theta is equal to sin theta divided by tan theta okay sin theta if i have to write sin theta that is a tan theta by sec theta okay and so on so this relation this trigonometric relations we can keep in mind with this hexagon figure okay but just remember that where to write this trigonometric ratios okay here first sin theta cos theta tan theta cot theta sec theta cosec theta okay these are reciprocal of each other okay means here sin uh, we have to write opposite to sin here that is a sin theta cosec theta these are reciprocal of each other tan theta cot theta reciprocal of each other and sec theta cos theta that is a reciprocal of each other we will get another relation also sin theta into cosec theta that is a 1 okay so sin theta into cosec theta is equal to 1 so sin theta into cosec theta so this is equal to 1 tan theta into cot theta that is a 1 and sec theta into cos theta so this is a 1 so by using this we can keep in mind this relation also means sin theta into cosec theta is equal to 1 okay by using this one we can write this sin theta into cosec theta 1 cos theta into sec theta is equal to 1 and tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1 okay this dot means multiplication so tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1 so these are trigonometric ratios and trigonometric relation or relation between trigonometric ratios okay now we will take example based on trigonometric ratios okay so first example is here okay so we will take first example okay example 1 in triangle abc right angle right angled at a if ab is 12 AC is five. If AB is equal to twelve, AC is equal to five, and BC is equal to thirteen. These are centimeter given. Okay. Then find all six trigonometric ratios. Find all six. trigonometric ratios okay in short we can write t ratios okay so from next example i am i will write like this way t ratios trigonometric ratios of angle b okay now first we will draw diagram so triangle abc right angle at a so this is angle a here we can take c here b and ab is given 12 cm ac is 5 cm bc is equal to 13 cm okay now we have to find all six trigonometric ratios of angle b so here angle b is this so if i am taking first sin of angle b now sin b that is a what is the definition of sin that is a opposite side ac upon hypotenuse so opposite side ac upon hypotenuse is bc okay here we have to take sin of angle b so angle b is here okay so opposite side of angle b is ac 
and upon hypotenuse BC. So sin B is equal to AC by BC. So AC is 5, BC is 30. So sin B is 5 by 13. This is first one. Second one, cos B. So cos B, that is a definition of cos adjacent side upon hypotenuse. So adjacent side of angle B, that is a AB upon hypotenuse BC. So 12 by 13. Okay, AB is 12, BC is 13. Then tan B, tan B is opposite side upon adjacent side. So opposite side is AC, adjacent side is AB. So AC is 5 upon 12. Next cot B, cot B that is adjacent side upon opposite side. So adjacent side is AB upon AC. So that is a 12 by 5. Next, cosec B, cosec B means hypotenuse divided by opposite side. So hypotenuse is BC, opposite side is AC. So BC divided by AC. So BC is 13, AC is 5. Okay. And last one is sec B, that is a hypotenuse divided by adjacent side so hypotenuse is bc that is a 13 divided by adjacent side is 12 okay so you can see from this also sin b is a reciprocal of cosec b sin b is 5 by 13 cosec b 13 by 5 so reciprocal of each other cos b and sec b cos b 12 by 13 sec b 13 by 12 so reciprocal of each other and tan b and cot b 5 by 12, 12 by 5. So reciprocal of each other, okay? So you have to find like this way, okay? So we will take second one example. This one is easy to find all trigonometric ratios, okay? Now I am taking second one. Okay, second example is... Okay, suppose like this way, if cos theta is equal to 8 by 17, find all other 5 trigonometric ratios. Okay, so here cos theta is given. Now, if we draw a triangle like this way, now your triangle is not given. So I am taking ABC is a triangle right angle at B. Suppose this angle is a theta, angle C is a theta and cos theta is given 8 by 70. Okay. Now cos theta, we know that cos theta that is a adjacent side upon hypotenuse. So this is BC upon AC. Okay. Adjacent side upon hypotenuse. So cos theta what is given 8 by 17 is equal to bc by ac okay now here this 8 by 17 is a ratio given okay so you can take side as a 8 means you can take bc as a 8k and ac as a 17k okay because these are not actual sides this is a ratio okay so you can take 8k and 17k okay or if you take this only 8 and 17 then also it is okay because when we are finding ratios this k will be vanish okay so if you can if you will take this is 8 and 17 find first a b by pythagoras theorem so in triangle ABC, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So 17 square is equal to AB square plus 8 square. So this is 289 AB square plus 64. So 289 minus 64 
is equal to a b square so a b is equal to a b square is equal to 225 so a b is equal to 15 okay so this is a 15 okay and now you can find other five trigonometric ratios okay so sin theta so sin theta we will find sin theta that is the opposite side a b divided by a c so 15 by 17 okay cos theta is already given then tan theta opposite side a b upon adjacent side bc so that is 15 by 8 next cot theta adjacent side upon opposite side then cosec theta that is a hypotenuse by opposite side so hypotenuse is ac opposite side is ab so 17 by 15 and sec theta that is equal to uh, hypotenuse upon adjacent side so 17 by 8 so these are phi trigonometric ratios other phi trigonometric ratios because already cos theta is given okay